Okay, hi there. Welcome to a macro video on exchange rates. And in this short revision topic video, just spend a few minutes building an answer to a question examining the possible impact of an expansion of quantitative easing or QE on the external value of a currency. Here's the question. Examine the possible impact of QE on a country's currency. Okay, so we're looking to build a knowledge application analysis point to start with. Start with a definition of quantitative easing. If it's in the question, define the term. Uh, QE typically involves a central bank purchasing, buying government bonds from commercial banks and other financial institutions such as pension funds. Uh, in return for those bonds, the commercial banks receive an injection of cash or liquidity onto their balance sheets. An increase in QE in the question represents an expansionary monetary policy and that might be designed to stimulate GDP growth or perhaps prevent a country tipping into a period of price deflation. So then you have to work through theoretically how QE can impact on the exchange rate. Now there are several strands you could choose here. I'm just going to choose one particular strand by way of illustration. So as a result of increased QE, that's a nice little connective phrase to use. In the bond market, we might see an increased demand for bonds because the central bank, of course, is going into the market and buying bonds back from the commercial banks. An increase in demand increases the, the price of bonds. And since bond prices and bond yields are inversely related, QE can lead to a fall in bond yields, a fall in the rate of interest on bonds, and more generally, a fall in long-term interest rates, including the rate of interest on mortgages. Now, if interest rates fall, this might then lead to an outflow of hot money as some investors switch their money, switch their funds into other currencies that perhaps offer a better, more generous, higher return. So in this way, QE could lead to an outward shift in the supply of a currency in the foreign exchange markets, which Keteris Paribus, always worth putting that in, by the way, because many factors affect the exchange rate, which Keteris Paribus could then lead to a depreciation or fall of the external value of a currency. In other words, an expansion of QE through the bonds market can lead to an outflow of currency and uh, a fall in the exchange rate. Uh, some of the glut, the extra cash inside the banking system, might also be lent out externally. It doesn't necessarily have to be lent out to domestic businesses and households, which again, if that money leaves the circular flow, puts downward pressure on the value of a currency. So that's uh, one possible impact of, of an expansion of QE. Uh, here's a diagram to show it. So if there's an outflow of hot money, if overseas investors are selling the currency because of a fall in the yield on assets, then the currency supply might well shift out to the right, bringing down the equilibrium value of the exchange rate. Uh, some evaluation points because, of course, the word examine requires you to evaluate. So QE increased or increases bond prices. Actually, uh, you don't necessarily buy bonds just for the yield. You might be buying bonds because of the prospect of capital gain, the price going up. So that might actually attract financial inflows into a country and thereby increase currency demand because investors are looking for an increase in the value of the bonds they buy. Uh, QE does normally lead to a fall in interest rates, so it keeps interest rates low. But interest rates being lower uh, may stimulate the stock market. Share prices may be higher. And if there are positive expectations for share values, again, that could attract overseas money coming in, uh, looking to, to buy equities whose price might go up. And the idea that QE stimulates commercial bank lending... Um, through an increase in the money supply can be quite challenged and questioned as well. There's no guarantee that commercial banks <coughs> flush with cash will necessarily increase their lending, um, in which case the impact on the, on the wider economy will be muted and that could dampen the, the impact on the exchange rate, particularly when confidence is low and when there is potentially a liquidity trap. So there we go, a quick look at how quantitative easing or QE can affect the value of a currency.